We try to uh, bring polar science, including permafrost, to German students. Uh, in Germany, normally you have in the curricula not uh, the topic permafrost, uh, but you have, for example, the topic climate change, climate warming, and uh, often the people, the students, uh, see uh, such a uh, diagram. And you see here uh, the term permafrost, uh, but they don't know what it is. And also most of the pe teachers uh, cannot explain it. Uh, on the other hand, in newspapers or in TV, uh, when there happens natural hazards li like landslides, also the students see it, they hear the term permafrost, towing permafrost, but they don't know what is permafrost. And now there are specific uh, topics in the theme permafrost, and we try to uh, work out uh, uh, working sheets for the students, uh, including uh, the teamwork or the cooperation with scientists. So in our group, we have yearly uh, meetings, and there are coming uh, scientists and also teachers, educators, and they present their work, the teachers and the, the scientists. And together, um, they try to uh, communicate uh, some conceptions uh, of the students, what do they know, in which age, and where can we start with our explanation of permafrost and in which way. Uh, and we uh, try to, um, to develop teaching material, or we have already uh, teaching materials uh, developed. Um, but I uh, prefer um, teaching material which explain the permafrost in the right way. You see on this picture, for example, we have uh, there are a lot of ice in this uh, permafrost. Uh, and that's only the case in northern Siberia, at the coast, or in northern Alaska. And when you go to Europe, <coughs> most of the permafrost is in the Alps, Alpine permafrost. And uh, such events you find there. And if the teacher, if the students um, think there is a lot of ice in the permafrost, um, then they say, OK, uh, most of the mountains in the Alps, uh, they uh, have a lot of ice inside. And that's wrong. So um, I think uh, there's not much um, educational material and there's not much knowledge about permafrost and uh, we try in our working work to, to spread it out in, in the whole of Germany. This is not only one project on one school but uh, we have a working group with a lot of teachers uh, which coming from the whole of Germany. For example, in the upper grade uh, classes, for example, the 12th grade, they have uh, in biology uh, the, the topic uh, 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 carbon cycle. And in this case, you, can, you must explain what is permafrost because there's a lot of carbon uh, stored. And if it's uh, um, a towing, then the carbon is going into the air and uh, the, 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 the global warming is uh, much more affected from this point. Uh, yes. So this is just one example. But uh, also, if, of course, as, as I explained, uh, these hazards um, are, very, are, are, are uh, very often now, more often than in earlier times. Uh, in Swiss, uh, Switzerland, for example, the Murgänge or Muren, they are very often, and the glaciers retreat, and such, uh, such uh, things deal with permafrost. I would like to have it uh, in the curricula. Uh, I, I would like to have more physical geography or geoscience in the curricula in the whole of Germany. But it's very difficult because Germany has 16 states and every state makes its own curricula. So uh, we try to, to, have, to, to, to work with the teachers and to bring it directly into the lessons. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, I like to, to um, or I, I, I like to, to um, catch the intelligent students because uh, I think we really need good thinking people for the future who know what happens and uh, who work or who uh, make decisions in this view. It's, every time it surprises me that nobody knows what permafrost is.